Yo, what is going on everybody? My name is Connor, but you guys can call me Superior. And today, I'm going to be bringing you guys a T1 gameplay, a Tier 1 gameplay, a uh, good gameplay, whatever you want to call it. But it is a double chem strike with one of my favorite weapons that Call of Duty has ever had. And that is, of course, the Honey Badger on one of my favorite maps in one of the favorite game types that I've ever had. And that is Sovereign Blitz with the Honey Badger. Because the Honey Badger, pretty much you can win any gunfight at any range with this gun. It is amazing at close range, amazing at decent range. Has a decent rate of fire and is low recoil. So, you, you know, it's definitely manageable at long range. So, if you haven't tried the gun out, definitely throw it on. And Sovereign is a great map. You can contain the enemies in just a few spawns and really control the map and kind of make the enemies your bitch. And um, so it is great for getting double chem strikes or triple chem strikes if you're good enough. But this is only a double chem strike gameplay, sadly. But I do think you guys will enjoy it. So I wanted to talk about something that's coming up here in the next few weeks for a lot of people. Or maybe if you're lucky, uh, you know, you've already reached this. And that is Summer. Summer is the best time of the year, and you can't, no one can argue that it is just hands down the best time of the year. You know, you can sleep in till 3 p.m. every day, wake up, play Xbox until 3 a.m., and then do it all over again and never ever be tired of it. And you can hang out with your friends, you can get chem strikes all day, nuclears all day, nukes all day, Moabs all day, whatever it is, you can do it all day, and no one will tell you different. But sadly, this summer for me, my parents are gonna make me get a summer job. And, you know, a summer job, I'm not sure exactly what my parents classify it as, whether it's like, um, you know, like a 9 to 5 job or something like that or something where I go and work at like a Target or a Walmart or like a Wendy's or McDonald's or something like that. But, you know, I was thinking, I'm like, hmm, where do I want to work this summer? And I was like kind of thinking, you know, I don't want to get a job at some place like that I absolutely hate, like everything to do with it. Like I don't want to go work at like a like uh like a Claire's, you know, like the jewelry shop or whatever that shows like really shitty like plastic jewelry. Like I don't want to work there because I have no interest in it. So I was kind of like taking my interest and comparing it to what you know what what I would be good and compatible with for a summer job. And you know I've been thinking about that for a lot the past few weeks because I've known that I have to get a summer job, and I just wasn't sure what it was gonna be. So um you know at first I was thinking like Best Buy because you know I I know a ton about computers but then you know I might get stuck in like the TV compartment and I really don't know a whole lot about TVs or what if someone asked me a question about like speakers I'm like all right this speaker's like three feet tall and it's black like that that's all I'd be able to tell them like there's no way I'm gonna like memorize every like product thing so you know unless I'm in like the video game section or like the computer section but I feel like even then I'd be really judgmental like someone in the video games would go buy some game that I don't like that I don't play or like or someone would go there to, and buy like like a Wii and I'd be like dude why the fuck are you buying a Wii are you are you stupid and like I would just be like that and then they wouldn't buy it and then I'd get fired so you know I decided Best Buy wouldn't really be a good fit for me so you know you know that's pretty much the only thing that the only the place around me that has to do with you know gaming and computers and you know most of my interests. So, um, you know, I was thinking about like YouTube and uh, the following that I've created. I've manifested it and continue to grow it and turn it into, um, you know, a bigger and bigger following essentially. And I was thinking about how, you know, if there's any way that I could qualify this as a summer job. And, you know, I don't really want, I don't want to talk about how much I make on YouTube or on the internet or anything like that. So I'm going to kind of um, refrain from that. But recently, you guys know I've been grinding uh, the live streams and I've been working so hard to grow all of you know my following just all of you guys and you've all been helping me and the support has been completely overwhelming and hopefully um i can turn this into a summer job because that would be awesome that would literally be a dream come true you know obviously i wouldn't be making enough money to support myself but um keep in mind i am just a 16 year old like sophomore in high school so you know i really don't need like a, a 50 like, upwards of a fifty thousand dollar salary off of all this just to um, you know, support myself because like I said, I'm still living with my family. So, um, you know, like I said, like if I made $50,000 a year, like, like, holy cow, like a 16 year old making that much is really impressive, but you know, just enough to classify as a summer job. And I just want to thank you guys for all your support because it looks like, uh, that I'm going to be able to do that. And that's all because of you guys, every single person watching this video, uh, I just want to say thank you. And if you're watching this video, feel free to go check out my live stream. I know so many of you guys have already came over to my my Twitch and you know watch my live streams. And that really means the world to me. I just want to thank you guys for that. Also, follow me down in the description. Follow me on Twitter. Um, I'm so close to a thousand followers, which is like one of like the biggest milestones like you can hit on a website because like very few people have a thousand Twitter followers or like you know like there's like less than like 50% of people on Twitter have a thousand Twitter followers. So I really want to hit that. 
I think it'd be awesome. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Thank you so much for giving me all the support on my YouTube channel, my Twitch, and my Twitter, and everything like that. It seriously does mean the world. Uh, leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Follow me on Twitter. Drop a comment down below. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. And other than that, have a fantastic day, everybody. I am out.